Hello dear Capricorn and welcome to your September 2021 tarot readings with me. If you are new to my channel dear Capricorn I suggest you please do subscribe so that you are notified every time I release a new video. So let's get started to see what's in store for the Capricorn Sun, Moon and Rising. Well it starts with a very paternal energy I would say as you can see an energy a masculine energy a very loving caring tender honest energy uh, that it is starting with so you might meet somebody who is like a father figure a person uh, who is like a very good friend to you or a potential partner for you in the first week I also see that you will have a wonderful uh, connection with someone uh, who carries these qualities of love of um, uh, you know honesty and of having very good feelings towards you who is there to help you this is what I'm seeing for some of the Capricorns they will have to take care of their father figure in the first week of um, this month this is what I see most probably you might visit your papa or your papa can come to visit you or you might spend some time taking care of them or you know connecting with them once again this is what I see or for some of the Capricorns there will be some kind of a uh, father figure energy who is going to help them in the first week this is what I see for um, male Capricorns I see it can be you also my dear Capricorns who are uh, you know um, who are helping someone out who are giving them the good advice who are being somebody's guide at this point of time as a best friend as a wonderful uh, coach or a boss or you know being a good father otherwise it can be that you are in a father's role at this point of time and you are uh, supplying all these paternal uh, qualities to someone who is in need uh, of it at this point of time my dear Capricorn and then we are coming to the second week and the second week I'm seeing that you need to strike a balance between work and play <laughs> between work and your love life because there can be a need uh, you will be called upon to make a choice but you cannot you know give too much of attention on one side and neglect another side so what do you have to do you have to strike a balance wherein uh, you will be able to how can I say um, yeah keep both the things at a balance and give your best on both the sides because if you go too much on the work side your love life or your um, sentimental life is going to suffer and if you go too much on the other side well your work suffers okay so here <clears throat> you will really really have to take care and you will be called upon to make a compromise to make a sacrifice regarding something and uh, whatever is done with love is never a sacrifice okay so remember that my dear Capricorns in the second week so if you have to give away something uh, you need to know my dear Capricorn is that you don't need to worry about that whatever we do out of love is never wasted right so it will be coming back to you in wonderful ways so you don't need to worry about that my dear Capricorn in the second week all right then we go to the third week well the third week is as you can see kind of a challenging week must be administrative uh, problems that can arise some paperwork need to be done or you have to do lots of work on your table lots of things are present this is what I see there are certain kind of um, challenges to meet obstacles put on your path in the third week also I see a lot of misunderstandings communication is not going to be easy my dear Capricorns in the third week of uh, September and uh, that is going to touch your professional life your personal life and somehow it can uh, demoralize you or affect your health also so you need to take care of that my dear Capricorn please take care of that that it doesn't touch your health you don't take it in your mind you leave it at that place okay work needs to be out of the door don't get it inside with all the problems of your work you really leave it at the door and then while going back to your office you take it back all right so just keep that in mind that you don't get things uh, in your heaven of peace all right so take care of that in the third week because I see that there will be a lot of 
conflicts there is this kind of ambience you know mm, i see this kind of heavy ambience in the third week a bit of ambiguity adversity that is coming in uh, most probably these can be some people around you who are you know triggering this and at that time i would really like to ask you to look inside of you and say why am i getting triggered by all this what is the purpose of all this is it trying to teach me something or is it just there to make me angry and if i'm getting angry means there is some point if i'm getting frustrated if i feel like crying about it uh and really being angry about all this that means there is something inside of me that needs healing at this point of time so take it as that take that trigger as your medicine okay and start healing yourself go deep within to see why this is taking place inside of me what is this trigger exactly about is it really this that is triggering me or this is something beneath that okay because what happens is that most of the times there is something else behind something you know you can get upset with a particular person who did something to you but actually the roots are very very deep they go down to your childhood and you know even beyond that even to your past lives they can go to so try to see where is this coming from and don't take it too hard okay because this is the third week seems to be a bit tiring on communication misunderstandings and those triggers that can make you upset okay so take it in your capricornian way take it practically pragmatically and i would say take it in a more sorted out way don't get attached to it deal with it in a detached way my dear capricorn and then we go to the fourth week and this is a wonderful week this week is all about the energy of love it's a feminine energy who is providing love to you understanding to you most probably after this clash clash has happened in the third week then a kind of a maternal energy is nurturing you in the last week uh, it can be your mother it can be your daughter it can be your sister or your best friend and um, for some of the male capricorns this um, this person can be your potential partner that you are meeting this person doesn't have anything bad in her heart it's a feminine energy very nurturing very loving and motherly and generous energy doesn't have anything bad for anyone in the heart always there to help so this kind of energy this person is there to give joy to you um this is what i'm seeing is there to understand you and give a new perspective it can be your guide it can be your coach it can be your guru it can be your mentor also in this feminine energy this is what i am seeing and this energy is also about you that that you need to find the mother inside of you okay um, because we need to be our own parents also this energy is telling us that we need to be our own parents at times you know when we are down we don't feel fine you have to mother yourself you have to just take your hand and put it on your chest and just say i am my mother and i am my father and then you don't feel alone you just feel protected because this is what it is all about we have to um, come to terms with ourselves and we have to heal this inner child and how do we heal this inner child by being our own mother and father and nurture it inside of us uh, my dear capricorn and in the last week you will have to mother yourself you need to take care of yourself or you can be meeting this motherly energy or this loving energy you will spend time with them for some of you you will need to take care of your daughter in the sense uh, spend more time and get the joy out of you know of playing with your daughter or just doing something constructive with your daughter otherwise it will be like meeting your mother calling her or going and seeing her or even it can be a grandmother's energy also that is involved uh, in the last week so it's all in all a very loving very generous and very caring energy uh, my dear capricorns so well 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 it's all about the hearts it's all about um if i have to see this whole month for you is all about relationships and how you're dealing with them my dear capricorns so there is a kind of a, going to be a kind of a tug of war <laughs> between some options and uh, there you will have to deal with it in a good way okay my dear capricorn and you will do it well you have that 
level-headed attitude to look at things and you're practical when it comes to relationships right so thank you for listening please do like share and comment and i shall see you next month until then take good care of yourself bye bye god bless bye